I'm very tired. It's raining. It's actually raining on me right now. There's raindrops. Look at this. What the hell? Does it rain in Dubai? I think it's just this one cloud, but man, if it starts dumping, that's gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting. Hi everybody, my name is Mark Urban and I am a professional motorsport cinematographer. I travel all over the world filming car racing and today I'm gonna take you with me to the 24 hours of Dubai here at the Dubai Autodrome and show you what it's like to film the grind that is a 24 hour long sports car race. It's about three and a half hours until the green flag so let's head down to the media center, get our workstation set up and get started on what will be a very, very long day or two days, I guess. So I'm all set up now, it's about three hours for the green flag and I need to message my uh, PR manager friend for one of the teams I'm working for. Uh, she wants to get a shoot done with some of the drivers uh, real quick before the start of the race. So I'm gonna see what the deal is for that and set up my equipment accordingly, although I've already set it up, but I wasn't thinking. So I might have to set up my gimbal and all that to go do this other shoot. So wait till I hear from her and then I'll go head to the garage and get started on the day. I got you. Yeah. So I just snuck over to the WRT garage and did some shooting in there and uh, then went over to see my friends at Grove Racing and everything's fine there. Kind of everyone's just hanging out until we get closer to the start of the race. The cars are pretty much ready to go. Everyone's just hanging out. Drivers are just starting to arrive now. They're relaxing before they have a very long day. So I'm going to sneak upstairs to the catering and have some lunch and then go back to the media center, grab all my gear and get ready to shoot the pre-grid and the start of the race. So I'm just at the catering here, just gonna fill up on a very simple lunch of some sweet and sour chicken and some rice and a little bit of cake because you gotta treat yourself. I need lots of energy, so I'm eating lots of carbs. I'm gonna be awake for quite a long time before the end of this race. So make sure I have enough food in me. I'm gonna stay away from caffeine though, but I'm drinking lots of water, hydrating. I have lots of electrolyte mix as well. I might have a coffee in the morning, tomorrow that'll probably be the only coffee I have throughout the race because caffeine as much as you think that might be a good idea at these 24-hour races caffeine really just makes you crash so I want to make sure I'm awake have lots of energy and be fully fueled for this uh, very long day all right so I've got all my gear switched over I'm ready to go to pre-grid got I'm just gonna grab my uh, sorry my my snacks make sure I have those on me water all of that important things that I'll need because uh, I think I'm going to shoot the pre-grid then shoot the start of the race and basically stay out until uh, the sunset to shoot golden hour and then come back in when it gets dark so um, the race starts at three and it gets dark sunsets at like 5 30 so two and a half hours track slide I can probably almost do a full lap of the track and then get my nice sunset shots and then come in dump footage do a little bit of editing go back out and start shooting at night we have a lot of nighttime shooting I think we have like 12 13 hours of darkness so uh, lots of opportunities to get some great night footage grid is absolutely insane like you're, you're it's so packed no one's watching where they're walking people walk right into you this is insane but everyone's here to enjoy motorsport and it's cool that the fans can come down here as much as they uh they bump into you and aren't paying attention to where they're walking but we're down here enjoying motorsport so i guess that's good All right, so they just kicked us off the grid before the drivers were in the cars, which really sucks. I tried to argue to stay farther back, but they booted us from the grid. So I'm heading down. It's a long walk all the way to the end down to turn one, but we'll get down there in plenty of time. We still don't go green for another 10 or 12 minutes. So lots of time to get down there and get a start shot. But one bummer is I'm supposed to be a professional, but I uh, forgot my tripod. So looks like I'm shooting the start handheld. So that'll be fun, but uh, Got a lot of experience shooting handheld. My uh, arms are gonna get sore though. Start shot time. Let's do it. Let's kick off 24 hours. So 
under our first uh, safety car period of the day, but they use a virtual safety car system in the series, so they're under what they call a code 60. Everybody just slows down to 60 kilometers an hour and circulates the circuit. They don't bunch them up, the safety car doesn't come out. It's all done virtually. Kind of speeds things up, but makes it a little bit harder to make up time because they don't bunch the field up. For us as media people, uh, safety car periods are just time for us to catch our breath, have a drink of water, check our phones, vlog. So we use them just as a nice opportunity to relax. Just starting to go down, and we're getting into prime golden hour time now. All right, so golden hour is almost over, and unfortunately, we got another Code 60 virtual safety car during the golden hour which uh, tale is old as time, Murphy's Law. Of course, we're gonna have a safety car when the light is the best. But I got some really good shots so far, I'm pretty happy. Uh, the circuit is not my favorite, but the golden hour here is mint. Very nice sunset in the Arabian Gulf, so definitely enjoying that, but that's yeah, a pretty, pretty vanilla track overall. But I'm gonna work my way around, it's gonna get dark soon, and then I'm gonna gear up for 12 hours of night shooting. So it's just about 8.30. I'm gonna head up to the uh, grandstands now and do some night shots from up there, do some panning, some shots of the gimbal as well. So, quite a trek to get over to the grandstands, but I need to be back pretty quick because I want to be in the pits for when the Valentino Rossi goes in for his first stint and I need to get some content for a reel for the team. So, waiting on the PR manager just to text me to say, hey, you've got about a half hour to head back. So. We can see how much we can get done before that happens. So that was a not so fun episode where I had just gone to the grandstands to shoot and I got the, the uh, message that Rossi was getting in the car so I had to go back to the pits and I made it just in time, but didn't really get anything usable. It was too crowded, way too many people around that wanted to get a shot of him, so. Nothing, nothing. Uh, so, uh, we're gonna go back out to finish the shoot that I wanted to do. I've got the tripod now. Do a little bit of night shoots just out in the final turn. Get some, uh, some establishing night shots I wanna get for my edit. And hopefully we'll be able to get uh, Mr. Valentino Rossi suiting up and getting in the car uh, when he goes for a stint later on tonight. I'm thinking if he goes in the car at like four in the morning, there's not gonna be any photographers around to get in my way because uh, you're gonna see, it's what time? 9.30 now? Uh, a lot of people that I call part-timers are gonna start taking off and going back to their hotel to go to sleep and come back in the morning. So that's when those of us that stay really shine. So I'm back in the media center now after spending a couple hours trackside shooting and now I'm going to break out uh, my supply bag that I brought with me which has uh, some very important items that I will need to survive um, the rest of this 24 hour race, particularly the overnight portion. The audio is crap, so I voiced this part over, but basically uh, this is a bunch of stuff in my bag. I bring with me like a foam roller and of course my electric toothbrush that you need to kind of survive a 24 hour race. You don't want to go that long without brushing your teeth. I'm telling you, I just brushed my teeth and I feel like a whole new man and I'm ready to go for another 16 hours and 15 minutes. I feel like my recap video is in a pretty good spot. I've done a bit, bit of editing now. There's a few more shots I've written down that I need to make sure I get. So we're gonna head back to the uh, pit lane, wait around for some pit stops, maybe grab the midnight snack, and then head out to turn 14 and do some more shooting. I need a lot more night stuff for this edit. I love standing on the pit wall. It's not much better than standing out here. Settling in for some uh, edit. 
editing now. I finished, a, I think, all the night shooting I need to do on my run out again. I'm definitely going to do a, couple, do a couple more pit stops, but for now, I think trackside stuff I have enough for the edits I have to do, so it should be good. I'm just going to settle in here and I'm going to break out the supply bag and uh, do a little bit of mid race therapy because my back and my legs are starting to feel it. So, go through some exercises and uh, get myself feeling right again. Uh, these are also uh, helpful uh, if you're old like me. So also hydrating, still drinking lots of water, haven't had any coffee. Just like I said, stay away from caffeine during these things. They do not, it's not helping keep, keep you awake. It just, I'm just slurring my words now. I'm quite tired. It's 2.30 in the morning. I'm starting to feel it. Later. All right, I got a little bit caught up editing, so I'm a little bit late to get to my spot for the sunrise. But I don't think the sun's technically up over the buildings back here, so we should be fine. Still get some awesome backlit stuff for the sunrise. So, get a little hungry, it's almost time for breakfast. I was falling asleep in my chair there editing, so. Time to get back on our feet and get moving. shooting the sunrise unfortunately the sunrise wasn't really much of a sunrise it was good for five or six minutes and then the sun went behind a cloud and that was pretty much it for our lovely backlit shot uh, but now I'm gonna just head through the tunnel here and go do a little bit more trackside shooting so I have some more morning looking stuff for my edit because most of my daytime stuff is in the late afternoon so it looks a little bit different so I need some more of that footage and then I'm basically just gonna spend two or three hours editing and then I'll have about three hours of race left where I can go grab anything else I might need for my edits. And if all goes well with podium and everything, race ends at three, I'm hoping if my edits are sitting there and I just need to add the podium footage, that I'll be out of here by, fingers crossed, 5.30 would be great. But we'll see what happens. I'm kind of hoping the clouds will break and we'll have some light coming uh, this way because I want to get some front lid shots. What I really like about front lid is at this time of day when the sun is low, you can actually see the driver inside the car. If they have their visor cracked, you can actually see their eyes if you shoot it at a long enough focal length. So it's a really cool shot if you can get it. I'm ready to start this brand new day that I'm not starting. I started it yesterday. It's just continuing into the second day. And uh, yeah, it's hitting me pretty hard. We've got a lot of editing to do now. Uh, I've got six hours left in the race, so if I get three hours of editing in, get to a good spot on my uh, final recap, I'll have three hours to go shoot uh, anything extra that I need to do. So yeah, it's gonna be uh, still, it's gonna be rough. All right, 
Alright, so my recap film for Grove Racing is pretty much completed. I see a few more shots of them winding down, celebrating, high-fiving, and I can have that delivered pretty quickly. But I do have to go to the podium for my other client. Looks like they're going to finish first and third. So I have to get some content there. Back to the media center, cut it up, and send it to them for like some recap reels. And then once we're done that, we start the long journey home. All right, we are back at the rental car. That is the 24 hours of Dubai, my sixth 24 hour race. I have to do another one in Daytona in a couple of weeks. And I have to say, this one was actually pretty simple. You guys probably saw that by watching the video. Really only had one major client and I was done really quickly. This is not typical. I'm usually not gone an hour and a half out to the checkered flag. We're usually editing for hours after the race still. So it was very low key, but I'll make up for it uh, in Daytona in a couple weeks at a very stressful 24 hour race. But I hope you enjoyed coming along with me for a day in my life filming a 24 hour race. 24 hour races are so special and get to do as many as I have. This being my sixth one is just amazing. I have to do my seventh in a couple of weeks in Daytona. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, thank you. And please leave a like and a comment. Let me know what you liked about this video, what you didn't like, how I can improve them. I'm hoping to make more of these throughout the season at the events that will allow me to do vlogging. So hopefully I can do more of them and every little bit helps. Subscribe, like, follow me on social media. All the links are in the description below. And if you want one of these hats, they're really nice. You can get them from lockdownbrand.com. I'm an ambassador of Lockdown Brand. Thanks so much for joining me, and I'll sign off by saying I have the best job in the world. It is a job, but a lot of the time, it definitely doesn't feel like it.